you child? Hello. <laughs> Why did you press the bell? <laughs> well, there's a bell. I'm not going to not press it, am I? You literally are such a child. There's like a, a hotel... Um, <coughs> ding for service. Ding for service bell here. I don't know why. And I just can't not press it. Right, hello. Welcome to Start of a Ten. He's George. And he's Angus. <sighs> Episode 15. 15? 15. 15. Come a long way. We have come a long way. Yeah. We'll oh, oh, settle in for another... How... Uh, it, Amount of time, yeah, of fun and games, fun and games, fun and frolics, topical, funny, educational. Although most of our educational stuff is wrong. Yeah, somebody somebody called me out on something on this yeah, week. Yeah, I got caught out. A few time. people have told me that uh, comments about the China's one-child policy were totally inaccurate. Oh well, I'm not surprised. We're not. We're not. Yeah. Experts on Chinese foreign so, policy. Thanks for getting in touch and slating our Chinese foreign well, policy. Well, please, please tell us because we ultimately will want to know too. I was also slated on the. Um, yeah, I'm looking at you, Joe. You called us out. Yeah, on that. Joe. And and my sister Hannah, you did that as Damn well. You Hannah. You're running on a treadmill. I was, I was called out. us off on text messages. I was called out about the uh, Harry Potter thing. Don Hall Gleeson was not one of the Weasley twins. Oh, Weasley not. He was one of the Weasley brothers. Oh. Which I think's nitpicking, but. He this was is, the I older like this. brother. This is like any other business at the start of, um, no, corrections at the start of a meeting. It's good. No, we need to correct ourselves. We should. It's like in the newspapers and they have that tiny little column where they correct all their... Yeah, and everything like, from the night, the week before. And, it, and what they've actually done is they've written something, some horrible news, news story about 90% of the world's immigrants are going to start fires under your house. And then they're like, our oh, stat about 90% wrong. was wrong and they won't be starting fires either. So they basically <laughs> discredit both of the parts of news, that the, the story, <laughs> and then they write it in size 8 font on about page 42. So no one reads it. Underneath, underneath an advert that's full page. Yeah, underneath a full page advert <laughs> for sheepskin slippers that you have to send <laughs> off for in eight, eight like, chunks. Yeah, you so know yeah, the if, ones. If, we're, uh, <laughs> if we are ever wrong, please don't hesitate to tell us. Yeah, we Either on Twitter or just let us know. And we'll <laughs> try and correct ourselves in the next episode so that everybody, uh, everybody stays correct and knows the right facts. So yeah, you had a good week. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, but it's just been a week though. It's been a week, busy, busy work week as always. I've and been, you? Yeah, I, it's been all right. I've been away. I've been in the hospital, and that was why our last one was late because oh, I yeah, forgot the SD that. card. Yeah, I'm not very organised, but yeah, I was, and I'm back, and it's all good. Excuse if I cough. I'm not cured. Still, not yet. No, it's looking, not yet. It's looking far off. No, it isn't. The cure. No, it isn't. It'll be fine. Right, start of a ten. You know what we're doing. Go ahead. What's our start the, of your start of a ten? This week's start of a ten is something that I ran into during my multiple hours that I've spent reading the internet over the last week. Okay. This was in the aftermath of that. Uh, it's another terrorism thing, but. Oh, but it's just what's in the news. We can't not. help. We're that a topical show. It's not our fault. We can't help that terrorists are going mad and kind of. Also, the it's news like every day as well. Yeah. It's like and also, the news day. are reporting it so much that it kind of floods our floods our conscious mind. Yeah, it does. So we'll we'll go with it. But anyway, it's funny. It's um a reporter called Martin Brunt for Martin Sky Brunt for Sky News, who right. did a piece to camera outside of a church. That is one of the most Alan Partridge things you will ever hear. God. Right, here it goes. Go from the start again. The morning service began about 20 minutes ago and there are no obvious signs of any security. In fact, this sign church. of the church it, it, door says church. everybody is welcome. There are about a dozen worshippers in there and one priest. If I was a terrorist, I could have killed them all. <laughs> what? If I was a terrorist, I could have killed them all. <laughs> I could have killed them all. <laughs> So, okay, obviously he didn't say it three times for dramatic effect. That's on the video. But he did say, if I was a terrorist, I could have killed them all. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, uh, Why would you say that? It's true. <laughs> if he was a terrorist, he could have killed well, them yes, all. Well, yes, he could have done. But I'm sure he, terrorist, that's the whole point, isn't it? They go into any public space. That's what they, that's what they do. It's not the church's fault. <coughs> The thing, the thing is that also the is this, other... was, was this after the thing in France? 
That yeah. is ridiculously insensitive. It was yes, it was horrendously it was horrendously, horrendously insensitive. insensitive. Yeah. Who is this man? He's a C he's probably from the C slash D list of reporters. The ones who they normally send Terrible. the ones who they normally send to a rabbit catwalk. A rabbit cat <laughs> You know, like the the news that's just not news. Yeah. Yeah, and he has to go and do a feature. Like on um it's on Bruce Almighty where they've got all those null stuff he has to go and film. Yeah, like support. the Niagara Falls thing. Yeah, yeah. So the ones they sent yeah. to the dodgy stuff. So yeah. basically, yeah, they sent out their top man <laughs> to uh, go and produce a feature. Martin Brunt. Martin Brunt. Was wheeled out. And yeah, he made an and absolute ruined it. arse of himself. He could have got the same message across in a completely less in- insensitive way. The way it's filmed as well is glorious. Like, he strolls up to the front of the church like your typical village church, <laughs> points at the signpost which says, well, everybody welcome to worship. Because it's a church. Because that's outside of 100% of all UK churches. <laughs> and then he walks off into the church. There's a, Then he disappears into the darkness. There's a Top of the Pops 2 style <laughs> smash cut fade. Horrible fade out. Then he yeah. returns from there and drops the bomb saying that he could have killed them all. Oh, it's just... Oh, Terrible. He, awful. Literally awful. It's one of the worst pieces of news reporting I've seen since that bloke who... Um, do you remember when the that guy came on to give the interview on BBC News and he wasn't the <laughs> guest? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I can't remember. I think there was... was it, he was foreign or something, wasn't yeah, he? And he was there um, for a different reason. He was the taxi driver. Oh, is that what it was? And they just pulled him up into the room, and he wasn't. Yeah, and he's quite. Um, he's called Guy Goma. But he went for it, didn't he? Like, yeah, he was actually. He tried. He tried his best to answer the question. He's kind of famous on his wiki now. He has a, he has a long Wikipedia. Because they they mistook him for Guy Cuny, the editor of a technology news website called News Wireless. It flashes the camera to him with a look of confusion and horror, and he it's just brilliant. says, "Good morning." We use, and then the woman says, were you surprised by this verdict today? And he says, I'm very surprised to see this verdict come on me because <laughs> I was not expecting that. When I came, they told me something else and I'm coming. You got an interview. That's all. So a big surprise anyway. So basically, yeah, he just... That was brilliant. That was quite a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, what, when was it? 2006. Weird. Yes. It was 2006. Give me the date. June the 14th. No, close though. Close but no cigar. Oh, well. May the 8th. That's not bad. Yeah. 365 Because that's why I remember that. I remember seeing it trending on Twitter that it was 10 years since Guy Goman oh, right, got wrongly okay. interviewed. Maybe that's why I remembered. But they, obviously he's called Guy Goman. The guy they were trying to interview was called Guy. Yeah, so, so obviously they just went up to him and said Guy. And yeah, is, like, anyone yeah. Got, is Guy here for the interview? And he went, yes, that's yes, me. Yes, I'm Guy, yes. Guy from the Congo. And he... Um, <laughs> Guy from the Congo. Brilliant. Sorry, that was some more some ins- sort insensitivity. Of insensitivity. It was borderline racism. Insensitivity. Week. Going at the Umbongo advert. Boris. No, he did he say that? It was. I thought it was Boris that said Way Umbongo. Way down deep, down in the Congo. Way down deep in the middle of the Congo. Wasn't it him that said Bongo Bongo Land? Um. Was it not him that said Bongo Bongo Land? Yeah, it was, and that's it why he's him. our current um, what's his foreign secretary. The foreign secretary, the guy in charge of relations He's, who with referred the to of the abroad. Congo as Bongo Bongo Land. <coughs> yeah, that's because he's obviously drunk too much um bongo. Um bongo. He spent too much time way down deep in drink? the middle of the Congo. Yeah, it was like squash. Did you not have it? I, I don't know. I kind of remember it, but kind of don't remember it. Yeah, well, I, I used to have that. Is it still going? Um bongo. Still um got bongo. a website. Or has it re- rebranded to something else? No, it was made by Sumal and Kompai. First appeared in 1983 under the brand of Nestle, or as I like to call it, Nestle. It's Nestle. It's not Nestle. It has yes, an accent it is. on the E. No, it doesn't. There was a formula change to the UK. In the late 90s, The once again, the parents complained there's too much sugar in it. Oh, wow. So then most of the original <laughs> ingredients were removed. <laughs> So it became water. Um, <laughs> it's now a water product. Yeah, then they sold empty bottles for a while. Yeah. And now it has been rebranded as Umbongo 100% juice. So it's not what oh, Umbongo right. used to be. So when I used to have Umbongo and used to 
when I used to have it, I think I used to have it at my granny's house. It used to melt your teeth. <laughs> so much. Yeah, well, when I had it, when I've had it at granny and granddad's house, then yes, because I had it before. Um, before the sugar change. Before the sugar change. So yeah, I had it when it was in its original conco- concoction, wow. so, when it was yeah. pure. And you still have teeth? Yes. Well, that just set. proves, doesn't it? So it would have been fine for mums and dads, didn't have to meddle in it. Jeez. You also had an in- factual incorrect um, issue there. What was that? In 2013, it was actually the UKIP MEP Godfrey Bloom who made the comments about Bongo Bongo Land. Oh, was it? Yes. Who? Godfrey, Godfrey Bloom. Bloom. I suppose that's why we haven't heard of him. Yes, and he... I really thought that was someone famous. He's the MEP, and he's also done something else, I'm sure. Well, he won't be an MEP for long. Oh, yeah. Um, What happens to all those? Well, they all don't become MEPs anymore. They go back to their constituencies. Good. Just get rid of them. I'm, I'm glad about that. I thought they were pointless. And also, it was pretty stupid that we elected a load of people who didn't want to be there, so then they just didn't yeah, ever I go. Yeah, I know, yeah. I understand it was like a protest vote, but the idea of sending people who didn't want to be there and then just never turned up to anything was slightly dumb. Dumb? So, Politics? Surely not. Never. 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 Not in this country. So yeah, Godfrey Bloom dropped his foot in it. But yeah, It was a terrible they, um, thing to say. Back to Umbongo. Um, I don't want to go down politics yet. No, no, no. no. Um, back to Umbongo. Soft drinks. Aren't they going to get rid of Ribena from Tesco's because it had too much sugar in it? I know that Tesco has a plan to get rid of a load of brands. But I don't know if that went ahead because I heard about it a year or so ago and nothing ever seemed to happen. They were going to get rid of like King's Mill and Carling and stuff. It was going to get slash a load of brands from their um from their stores and go back to like own branded stuff and try and push their own brands. Did I say Trago or Tesco? You said Tesco. Did you mean Trago? No, I didn't mean Trago. No, you said Tesco. Uh, it was, yeah, it is Ribena. They're going to get rid of it from Tesco. Why? Uh, because it was um, amid child obesity concerns. What? <coughs> really? But the tr- thing that gets me with that is that fruit has sugar in it. Yeah. Fruit is really high in sugar. Yeah, it it's just not. Is. It's, if you, if you, all you did was just live off fruit, if you, you would lived, have if you, no yeah, teeth. Yeah, exactly. Fruit is, I mean, I know that it's not that simple, but it is. It's so high in sugar. Yeah, but but also to be fair, Ribena is. Um, I reckon if you drink Ribena neat, it would probably it would kill stain you. your insides. It would kill it's pretty... you. Yeah. But then you're not supposed to drink it neat, so. I have. Um... But what do you reckon has more sugar? A glass of a weak glass of Ribena, or pure apple juice? Pure apple juice. Um, I'm diabetic, and when the when I was taught, like if you're having a hypo and your blood sugars go too low after you've injected insulin or whatever. If you if you're gone low and your machine's saying that you're like dangerous, you mm. go and have like a hundred mils of orange juice or apple juice. Yeah, cause or because because so it's sugar. so high in sugar, and then test your sugar again in ribena. ten minutes. Yeah, or Meat. have or have three jelly babies or something. You have to eat like a really small part. Mm. I never really got this bit right, and then what I would do is go and eat a full bag of jelly babies, and then test my <laughs> sugars in ten minutes. Then they'd be way high. I need to put insulin. In and then you'd have to do again. it again, and then I would like boomerang around for a while, and then feel horrible later on. But I don't do that anymore because now I understand you know the principles now. of being diabetic and I'm good at it. So, yeah, I wonder. A wheat glass of Ribena or a full glass of pure apple juice? Yeah, and then there's the sugar tax as well. That was a thing. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Is that, is that still coming? Yeah, it's coming next year, isn't it? There's some... There's some... Um, there's some drinks that, like, evaded the... Fell under the threshold, though I remember. Really? Yeah. I know, obviously, you've got, like, <laughs> Coke Life now as well, haven't you, that uses Stevia instead of sugar, so that that manages to... Yeah, isn't Stevia one of those things... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It comes from a leaf, I think. <sighs> and it's what they use in um, Truvia. Is it Truvia? Yeah. Um, the, the most Co-developed sugary... by Coca-Cola, I believe. The, the most sugary thing that is listed on the BBC was... Old Jamaica ginger beer, extra fiery, I which was stuff. just basically pure sugar. And then Rockstar, and then like Mountain Dew, the obvious things, like yeah. the sugary things. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and then you've got, um, at the bottom of the higher bracket, which are going to be the higher rate taxed ones, are, is Lucozaid and Vimto. All right. Then you've got the, like, the lower rate tax, 
which has Dr. Pepper, Fanta Orange, Sprite, and Schweppes Indian Tonic Water. Oh, man. And then in the drinks that incur no tax because they have, they're below like the threshold, Lilt, Shandy yeah. Bass, Schweppes Lemonade, oh, Tango Orange, interesting. Tango Apple, R. White's Lemonade. So essentially, like quite a lot of the good ones, so still fell outside so of the thing not, anyway. So they're not upping the tax on fruit juices. No, even though they contain more oh, wait, hang or on. the same. Hang on, uh, yes, they are some of them. Uh, Welch is hundred percent purple grape juice is sixteen point five percent. That's in like the high break, the high rate one. Does that does that mean if you go and buy like, you know, on the three for a pound? But per- offers but that Welch's purple grape juice isn't pure fruit juice. I haven't ever had it. I don't think so. Are they going to start taxing like your orange juice that you have in the morning? Your, uh, well, this is what I'm. T- this is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because if they're going on purely the sugar content, they would need to tax that too. But I suppose they're not because they don't want to discourage people from well, they buying are. fruit yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah. Tropicana orange extra. Oh, sorry, I should have read this before saying it. Tropicana orange with extra juicy bits is in a higher rate band. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's so, fair. So they're going to be. Ta- yeah, but that's just what you have in your morning. Maybe you should just drink water. Or just stick to coffee. Put as much sugar in it as you like, they can't tax it, can they? What, is this like some sort of two fingers to the establishment? <laughs> You're going to have a I'm gonna have coffee, coffee, coffee with and nine put nine sugars. four sugars in it. <laughs> Till the just spoon can stand fuck up. the government. I can't remember how many it is. Uh, my mate, uh, my mate Baldy's dad, worked out how many sugars he could put in a cup of tea before it wouldn't... What, so it wouldn't It wouldn't accept anymore. anymore. <laughs> I can't remember. It's a lot, though. I'm pretty sure it was it's, a it's lot. It's got to be quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. And also, it would be vile. It would be absolutely be horrendous. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... But I, I don't... The recommended amount of daily spoons of sugar is only seven and a half teaspoons of sugar anyway. Why... Is, why is sugar bad for you, though? Does it make you fat, or what? I don't know. Jamie Oliver campaigned about it, and then did some gay fist pump behind that, the... But... Remember when he... Um, yeah, I remember when they when they said they were going to... They showed it, it on the BBC like, News, yeah. and he was, like, fist pumping behind the thing on the broadcast, and yeah, I was like, yeah. that's a bit key. Jamie isn't? Oliver's a bit of an odd guy, though, isn't he? You either really like him, or you just find him I a did bit like of a him. I did like him. I liked when he did the Jamie School Dinners thing. I quite liked that. I liked Yeah, but they got rid of Turkey Twizzlers. Yeah. But they were amazing. Turkey Twizzlers were pretty good. They were not so good. Have we talked about this or did somebody... I don't know. We haven't talked about this on a, po- on a podcast, have we? No. But I loved them. However, yeah, somebody messaged, Somebody sent us a message saying about Turkey... You should talk about Turkey Twizzlers. And I, I love Turkey haven't, Twizzlers. Like, we haven't strung on this in. It's just literally happened. But They I mean, were amazing. Primary yeah, they, school. They, he, they stopped making them. I know he... Bernard, know, Matthews, fault, Bernard Matthews canned it because nobody would go near them. Oh, but they were so good. I'm sure they were terrible, but they, they were. were so tasty. They were Don't literally in them. Um, turkey. Really? No, I'm not. No, I'm not taking the mix. Sorry, really? that sounded like I was taking the mix. I was turkey. Reading something at the same time. They got really stuck when there was the bird flu H five N one. Oh yeah, they did, didn't thingy, they? Bernard Matthews. Flu, yeah, because that was Bernard Matthews, and that got yeah, them in trouble did. anyway. I remember that. But there was also controversy with the animal wa- welfare of people who apparently were playing baseball with live turkeys. What? In the... Yeah. What, uh, Bernard Matthews? Yeah. Um, That's bad. Uh, yes, it was legit as well. There was footage and they were... What? So we're not being libelous. <clears throat> I should really read things before I start saying them out loud, should Maybe, I? yeah, we could get done for libel. Yeah. Is this another one of these things where if we do get done for libel, we'll just take this as a victory because that means enough people listen to the yes, podcast that we'll get in trouble? Yes, it's a victory, yeah. Unless we know anyone who... Works for the company and yeah, and if, don't go dobbing us in for libel. Yeah, that's just not cool. Yeah, don't man. do that. That's not cool. Um, yeah, they stopped making it essentially because nobody was. Oh man, nobody I'd was have buying it. them. But the way they were making them, I'm pretty sure was wasn't it like um, blowing the meat off the bones? And yeah, all that kind of. They were gross. pressure washing the meat from the the pressure mm. washing basically just the flesh, what like the worst left? bits, yeah. and then they would um. <laughs> Crush it down through like a big press, probably with a lot of salt and yeah. They would add a lot of other stuff add to extra it, fat and filler, stuff. yeah. And then they would put it through a big rusk. syringe, essentially, and then it would squeeze out the end in a nice twizzled fashion into some bread. 
breadcrumbs. Yeah, there was definitely breadcrumbs and filler in there, wasn't there? Mm. But they were they were done in breadcrumbs, weren't they? In them I, I also remember, yeah, one of my favourite things with it is when they would come out on that school. Do you remember the school dinner trays that had all the yep. food partitioned uh-huh. off yep. and the section that had your knife and fork in as well? Mm-hmm. When you'd finished eating it, there was like essentially red, pure red fat. <laughs> it looked like blood that had come from it. It wasn't. It was just pure grease. That it would nice. stain the trays. Nice. They would must have been savagely bad for you. <laughs> well, that's probably why they would why they got banned. Well, yeah, but I also think it, basically he, Jamie Oliver, like tied it in with some animal welfare issue. But really, it was just they Chickens. were just not very good for you. Really, I didn't realize that Bernard Matthews had such a checkered past. Yeah, I remember the <laughs> I remember the bird flu thing. I remember that. But is bird flu still a legit threat? Um, well, it must still exist, but I don't know if it's... Are we all more ex- more worried about something didn't else someone, now? Didn't, a couple of people got it, didn't they? Like, actually, people that were in our in our school and everything, they actually got it. I don't think so. I don't think, I think, I don't think there was did. many reported cases in the UK. I think it was more um, prevalent than you remember. I think a few people did have it. I, d- I don't or know. Or they just coincidentally had the flu at the same time, and doctors just got a bit worried and called it bird flu. There was only uh, you, 2009. Well, we got more worried about the swine flu. Thing. Yeah, swine, swine flu. flu. Swine flu people actually caught. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of swine yeah, flu. Yeah, you're getting then. confused here. Oh, see, there's so many flus. Swine flu, but I don't think it actually... Um, yeah, at UK cases per week. At one point, it reached a million cases per week. Wow. Of swine flu? Of swine flu. There's okay, a graph the here. swine flu then. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, because I thought I knew someone that had it. Came from central Mexico. But I think nowadays the vi- viruses sort of go through fashionable stages. Fashionable. Don't they? Yeah, and at the moment Zika is the one Zika's that Zika's one. It was Ebola. That's now gone. Ebola. Which it hasn't gone, but it's gone. Yeah. It, well, some places it's gone. Yeah. Was but it the it Congo that, that fixed it? But then it did that before, didn't it? And then it cropped back up recently. Because that uh, Ebola wasn't a new thing. That was around in like the 70s or something. Yeah, ridiculous. but haven't we also cured lots of things virtually, like uh, tuberculosis until... Well, we haven't cured it, we've just inoculated <coughs> everyone against it, so no one can get it. Yeah, but it. now they've stopped inoculating people because they thought they had gone, and now yeah. all of a sudden people start catching it again. Yeah, and, which the, is, um, and um, smallpox as well. Smallpox, yeah, another classic one. Another, all these old school diseases coming back to bite us. I forget the name of the guy, um, what was the name of the guy that invented the um, vaccination for smallpox? Uh, he used cowpox... He gave people cowpox, um, and then they healed the baby. The smallpox killed. vaccine discovery. What was his name? Edward Jenner. Ah, oh, Jenner. Classic, I should have known that. Classic Jenner. Should have known that. That was good knowledge English. there. On the he followed that milkmaids. Yeah, he did because they were caught co- cowpox. Yeah, they were immune to smallpox. They d- very interesting. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And he realised why, and then. Uh, Cut people open and shoved a bit of the old pus from the. Is that what they did? Cowbox. Yep. Savage. Yeah, vaccines have come a long way since injecting pus. Thank God. Yeah. Um, but well, it's, it's essentially the same thing, though. You just in, you just inject live. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Isn't it the flu vaccine's um antigens? M- um, egg, isn't it? Oh, is it? The flu vaccine has something or well, something egg in it because I know right. that if you're allergic to egg, that's like pretty much the only valid reason to not have it. Yeah, right. Didn't know it. Yeah. Um, Interesting. It's weird. I find some vaccines um, uh, like sit better with me than others. I've hardly had any. Have you had all the appropriate ones? I've had all the ones that we all had to have. Good. I don't need to start on that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had any additional ones. Oh, I have like... And you probably have quite a few more I have than three us. a week Yeah. for something else. Literally three a week. I've had to start doing it myself. What? Yeah, injecting. I have to do a subcutaneous, like an injection into your subcut fat layer. Oh, just under the skin. Yeah, so you have to like pinch your skin and do it. Oh. And it's oh, it's back to. Isn't that like when you? Isn't that how you do diabetes? Yeah, um, insulin. But however, I was talking to I was talking to the doctor about this. The diabetes, like the insulin pen, is designed to not look like a syringe. It doesn't look medical. It's like it looks like right. a pen, and yeah. the way you screw the needle on is very unrelated. Whereas this thing, I have to get a needle and a syringe out and. Draw it up. Draw like, it out of a bottle. Draw it out of a then. bottle and then c- click it so the air's not in it and all this. And Weird. it feels extremely medical. Then I sit there for five minutes cheating myself up before I'm... Before you put before a needle you, before, under your skin. Yeah, it's quite... Um, I wouldn't make a very good yeah. heroin addict. 
I'm not going to lie. Well, I'd spend, well, that's a good thing, I think. I'd spend 25 minutes with a belt around my arm, geeing myself up, and then I'd just, my hand would fall off before I got around, before I got around to injecting it. Doing the vein slap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not quite there yet. A bit more. I also have no veins as well. Not like, like me. Yeah, man. You'd if be, I, the, you'd be just, such a good junkie. <laughs> but just hold the, I'm so jealous. Cut off the blood for a second. Watch them grow. Yeah, I'm so jealous of those. Look at those veins. Look how big that one is in the back of your arm by your elbow. <laughs> oh my god. That's like a piece of hose pipe. That is a monster it's, it's vein. It's impressive, isn't it? Look at them. They're really coming up oh, now. Wow, he's showing off his massive veiny arm. And on my hand, look, even. I, you don't understand how jealous I am. I have like... My veins are all squiggly yeah, they're, they're, and they're, they're, not they're, look lines. That. Yeah, stop it. You, your hand's going to drop off. <laughs> That's amazing. It's like a scene out of like the Hulk when he's just tran- just just changing into the Hulk. So tonight we've learnt that George would make an amazing drug addict. Yeah, look at that. My hand is beginning to go a bit numb. Yeah, stop. Let go of it. Yeah, but it looks cool. You're squeezing your biceps so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so right, it's uh, I'll let go. <laughs> What's like that feeling? You lose that feeling in your hand. Um. Oh, it's off in between us. I watched that again. It's I. I was I was working my way through stuff on all. What four. the series or? Yeah, I, it was good. Wasn't and it? there's only I think there's only three series. Series. Don't remember. There's only two, eighty. They only films. ever made eighteen episodes, I believe. So or maybe yeah. So if there is only three series, they only made eighteen episodes. and They were twenty two minutes long. Now that is not a lot of show. There was so, so considering good, how many how much of it was absolute gold. And the fact that they made two films from it as well. Yeah, well, that was because of the strength of the characters they created. But it's very similar to, um, I don't know, what else? Is, well, Peep shows is another similar thing. I know we are, I was in to talk about this, but that's because just I just watch the same shows over and over again. Peep show is very successful. But there was only ever nine series of that that was six episodes long. Nine the series. series? Yeah, they made nine seasons nine. of it. Nine? Yeah. That's quite a few. Yeah, but but remember, they were only six episodes in a series. Yeah, so that's quite a British thing, though. We've said that before. What, we? Peep Show? No, um, having a small number of episodes per series. Yeah, Peep Show. This week, however, they've announced that they're going to try and do a remake pilot of doing it again in America. Mm. I don't understand why they have to remake these shows no. to do them in America. Just no. take... Just show the British just one. Just show the British one. If it's good, why bother remaking it? I like the IT Didn't they crowd. try and do that with... Yeah, Sorry, the IT crowd's around. great. I'm jumping yeah. to different thing. Jump up, jump up and get down. Up, yeah, the up, IT yeah. crowd's great, but they, that that's great. another one I think they've tried to remake in America oh, and have they, they can it. Yeah, well, it's not going to be any good, is it? But the reason shameless why... Shameless as well they did in America, didn't they? Yeah, Shameless, shameless. USA. The Office, obviously. Yeah, that's, that was, that that's, was the, only, that's the only one. Oh, flick the spring. <laughs> Doing. Sorry, guys. That's the only one I can think of that's actually... The Office was successful. Yeah. I think they were going to they were gonna do Misfits, but I don't think they did in the end. Hmm. Which is good because the original series of Misfits was just fantastic. And they could the whole context that. of Shameless, for example, though, was the fact that it was just a, unless you get council estates in, yeah, it, I mean they like must get those, an equivalent, but yeah, what do they call it? The projects in mm. like New York, but it's not the same as Frank Gallagher no, it's going just not the same, down a tower it? block. I did into watch. The, I did watch a bit of it, or whatever that little pub was called. Yeah. I, it wasn't as good. It was a that's a that's a British cultural thing. Yeah, and that's the same with the in betweeners essentially. Yeah, UK. Yeah, it was UK, UK secondary comedy. school. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. UK sixth form comedy. Yeah. At least they didn't try to remake This Is England. <laughs> Honestly, they probably had a conversation <laughs> where they sat down and were like, "This Let's show's remake. really good. Let's remake This Is England." I guess. I guess the, also the other thing is America can't have shows like that because of the. It gets shown across such a broad area. Hmm. They don't have like we know yeah. about. We know exact. We have an opinion anyway of what it's like living in a council estate in a high rise block in London. Yeah. Whereas we know about that. We know all we, we feel. Understand we understand it. We, we have can a little relate chunk to it, of the culture we? of all parts of the UK. Yeah, we relate. We can relate, whereas mm. I, I think in America it's they so probably, yeah, distant, yeah, they can't, and can it's they? like living in a different world because yeah. of the space. I, but also, it's the same. Like, I can't relate to something to like French things because it's just it's no. distant. It's, we no. don't you don't hear about it. No. So yeah, I think that's probably why those shows don't get made, or they just don't get successful. Or they don't get picked up by the right yeah. people. But then we don't really steal American stuff. I Not think really. we do now, but we get it cherry picked. We only steal the good stuff. 
Do we? Like, think, oh, I can't think of anything. Well, because nowadays we go into American series, like. But we just have American seasons, things. don't we? Yeah. We just actually watch the American seasons and enjoy them. But their their big oh, stuff I, oh, is always yeah. We don't yeah, like we don't, copy we don't remake, and remake no. Their but their big stuff does tend to be good. I find their sort of run of the mill stuff is so trashy. Yeah, it's but really trashy. Actually, it's fine British, to watch, um, but it's very trashy. British cinema. I mean, I, I mean shit, by the way. Yeah. By tr- trashy, you mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> British cinema is extremely well. Um, uh, what, what would you... British cinema. Yeah, I mean British cinema, like filmmakers, um, is very well respected yeah. throughout the world, and yeah. even in Hollywood, British cinema carries a lot of weight. So no, yeah, it does. But we don't, like you say, we don't feel the need to remake. We don't really do the American... whole remake thing, do we? No, I mean, we just there buy must the be series and watch it. There must be, the yeah, because if it's successful, it's successful for a reason. So, but then I think that the, the the British are better at getting the American humor than the Americans are at getting the British humor sometimes. Because we can watch Friends and think it's amazing, but then the Americans can watch the English in between us and not get it. And I know they're p- perhaps not comparable directly, but yeah, but it's the same again, isn't it? But we, we just have different humor entirely. Yeah, and we have a different. We already have a pre-built expectation of what six people in a coffee shop who live in New York. We have a on built yeah. uh stereotype already. Yeah. So it plays that stereotype whereas they probably don't have a stereotype of what a UK sick form college is like. No true. Do we have an equivalent to friends in the UK? Or have we ever had one? Like that kind of a sitcom. UK sitcoms groups of friends. Realistically, like funny UK sitcoms, you're look. You're They're all very like specific genres, aren't they? Like Peep Show is very specific, and In Between is very specific. They're all sitcoms, but they kind of hit their you, own. You've you've got to go pretty. I can't think of there one. There aren't directly many. Comparable. I can't think of well, the only people who make them are BBC. Yeah. Nowadays. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah. Think about it's quite a lot. Because Channel Four My make Channel Four stuff. make like edgy stuff. Um. Oh, that's what I mean. You'll find interesting. Net, um, Black Mirror isn't going on Channel Four, straight to Netflix. October. Ah, that's yeah. good because I don't have Netflix. Uh, you can borrow mine. It's fine. Yes. Um, they. Um, Why didn't Amazon Prime pick it up? Bec- it, Damn what it was supposed to be. What was supposed to happen is Netflix were going to get it afterwards, as currently works at the moment. Right. And Channel Four was supposed. To, it was they were supposed to be getting premiere for the UK, and it was going everywhere else in the world on Netflix. But it. But com- Communication broke down and ended up just going straight to Netflix. Dang it. Yeah. But I guess they'll keep all the rest of them as well. But yeah, the... Uh, sorry about that. was a sidetrack. Um, no, that's, that's good uh, Good. Good information for up. Black Follow... Uh, Black Follow... Black Mirror fans. It's a great show. All the old series are on 4OD, though, or whatever it's, it's called, called All four. Sorry, I'm, it right. I'm stuck in the old the Arctic Ages. The, um... Ice Ages. The Arctic Ar- Ages. Ar- <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, UK... Ar- we, the BBC are the only people. ITV don't make those things. They make like historical Coronate, dramas. Coronation yeah, they do Street. historical piece once in a while. And um, yeah, the BBC are people like Greg Davis. You know that big, the massive yeah, funny Davis. comedian. He makes a few things like that. Apart from that, we don't really get. We don't really do it anymore. You don't do, do UK sitcoms, which is a shame because when they are on, they're really funny. Yeah. And well, the like the thing, IT crowd. Like the that. IT crowd. That the other really thing good. is they used to be shown on BBC Three. Uh, yeah. And now... Yeah, you had quite a few on BBC Three. Exactly. Yeah. Pram Face, that was pretty Pram good. Face I watched good. lots of that. Um, and then, well, obviously now BBC Three doesn't exist. Yeah, and I, I don't watch stuff online. Even though I have, like, the TV box thing, I still don't really watch iPlayer. Yeah, I was walking down the street, I was talking to um talking to Baldy again, actually, last week. He's a too cool, actually. Um, yeah. yeah, I was talking to him about this, and we were saying about how, I don't know, maybe four years ago, you used to, like, get your laptop out to watch iPlayer. To yeah, watch something. you would, yeah. Now, I'm like, unless I can get it on the Xbox or straight on the telly, like on a smart TV, unless I can do it without moving from my chair, I'm not interested. And if I, the fact of me having sometimes having to go out and find, uh, open my laptop and open it has already put me off. Do you know what I mean? I do it's know It's been a mean. massive cultural shift. I do know what you mean. I do watch TV on my phone, which is something I've never thought I'd do. Now I have Prime and I'm, you get Amazon. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Wow. Now I get Amazon Prime on my phone. I actually do watch stuff on my phone, but then the screen's quite big, so it's... Yo, what do you do? Hold it one inch from your face for <laughs> widescreen viewing? Yeah. Hold it an inch away from your face, and it's like a 60-something uh, inch screen. Yeah. Well, this is... You could buy... You, we could just Good. buy you one of those... Um, 
headsets. A, a VR a headset. A VR headset. Yeah, let's do it. And you could strap in when you go to bed or whatever. <coughs> that sounded a bit... Strap it on, literally. I, I can't see I'd be able to focus properly. On oh, the well, there's lenses. Close. There's there's glass in the... Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah there's lenses. I literally yeah. thought it was just strapping your phone in into Well, no, they, they do cost for a reason. Oh, the ones I were looking at were like eight quid. So that probably means you were just strapping it to your face, wouldn't you? I'm more than sure that the the VR headsets have like glass lenses in, and some of them even you can adjust so that they match your prescription. So if you wear glasses, oh, you what's can... it called? Op, um... Like they you do on, on like, like they do on camera, lenses, yeah, on camera um, uh, viewfinders, yeah, yeah, um, same thing. Yeah, that's quite co- that's quite interesting, nice. Yeah. Wow, that was that was that's is, is that that's about thirty eight minutes. Really? 30-something minutes at any rate. I mean, I don't know when we... Wow. Yeah. That went That went fast. Fast. Right. Yeah. You caught me You caught me unawares. We should get it set up on a timer. That concludes the personal message. You caught me so we unawares. I we need, to, we need to set up on a timer, and then it's ready to go. Well, the thing Keep is, normally, happy. normally I'm the one who clocks the time on the laptop screen and then says... Uh oh, better attention. cut George off. Play, start the music. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas this Shut week, up, George, you've up. called me out. That's fine. Yeah, right. So where we started at the that ridiculous the Alan Parch news. news presenter. Absolute ass. I could have killed them all. I could have killed them all. And um, yeah. And then we, and wound we up ended up talking about TV and we ended Netflix up talking about TV. Ne- yeah, you, we spent ages talking about sitcoms. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're good. And then, yeah, and I'm going to get George a thing so he can strap his phone to his face. That sounds fun. <laughs> we'll, let you into, we'll let you into a little secret. Um, we actually, this is a second oh. attempt at recording this oh, yeah. this evening. As um, It went wrong the first yeah, time. Yeah, it, <laughs> it went horribly wrong. It went horribly, horribly wrong. Angus nearly died from <laughs> laughter. You might strap just Angus's laughing fit onto the end of this. Yeah, I, I will, actually. I'll strap, my, <laughs> I'll strap the laughter. It was just hilarious. For, just for example, on the end. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, you know where to find us. Uh, Leave us a review. Did we get any review? Have we got time for reviews? Uh, we probably have. No, we haven't. We're going to run no. out. We're going to run out All of right. music. Well, we'll uh, you know where to find us one. on um, Facebook and Twitter. Call us out on what's wrong. Yes, uh, please call us call out. We love that. It's good. Do you think we got too much wrong this week? I doubt it's it. It's because we didn't talk about any topics that we And you weren't... fact-checked quite efficiently. Yeah, we didn't talk sugar. about too much stuff that we didn't really know about. Yeah. We should not go out of our comfort zone this week. Next time. Always, th- always next time we'll do it. He's been Angus. He's George. Thanks. Thanks again. <laughs> Can we stop this? <laughs> <laughs> So that was start of a 10. Um.